wait. Max Payne 3. I'm Dan from wikigameguides.com. This place is great. Really comfortable. And I'll shut up. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. Now, like I said, it was a long time ago. Seriously. Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No. If I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right. It wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. It certainly, it certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life, just like you said. Okay, sorry about Listen, that. You think I can still do a job? Frontline Plus Nobody commercial. Knows. Don't know why the sound the came through on that. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. Oh, hey, Josh. Diablo three time. Uh, probably because you'll be playing Diablo three for the next three months non-stop, so. Oh, Steve, Steve Martin produced this. Awesome. So I am live streaming this, and I'm recording it to upload later to YouTube. So I'll try to do my best uh, when I talk to the chat to make it make sense for the YouTube listeners. So I've never played Max Payne game. Oh. Yeah, this will be my first try playing one. Uh, let's look at the settings. Okay, those look fine. Okay. Subtitles, we'll turn those on. I know people liked that when I'm talking over things. Okay. Mm hmm. I guess we'll do story mode. What the hell are grinds? Oh, milestones. Okay, medium sounds good for me. I think uh, people don't want to watch me struggle too much. Oh, ah, aim assist. I will leave it at medium. Invert, 
No. Lightning NC says I should put it on easy. Not a bad idea. Wonder if you can change once you start. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Chapter 1. Something stinky in the air. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. You just got cowboys running security downstairs? Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So, who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co capital do, Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Alrighty. Shit's going down. Pass 
Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got this floor? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge. Press along with R. Else. Enter bullet time. Use the stick to aim at the enemy. Oh. It was time to choose. A nasty fall or a bullet to the head. Shoot dodge. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God. I'm terrible at aiming. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, lock on to targets. I like that. Makes it much easier. Okay. Why? Pick up gun. Okay, it feels a lot like GTA. Ooh, golden part. Golden guns. Wonder what that does. Okay, I'm pressing X and it's not reloading. It's not a good sign. Take a painkiller and restore health. They spelled pain without a Y. <laughs> that didn't kill you? Jeez. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't Ooh, calling for nice more art. liquor in her cocktail. Hmm. Something's cooking. She was out on one of the Okay, balcons. X is I hoped. Not about to be thrown off it. Crouch behind cover. B is reload. Okay. It's gonna take some getting used to. Might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Oh God! Tranquila. <laughs> Tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, you. Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where you got him? Where'd that dude go? Cover. Bitch. Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. I had to keep moving. Shoot, right trigger, last enemy. Bullet cam. Slow down, bullet cam. Look at that bullet. About to see some brains. Nope. Continue shooting. Wow. 
I didn't know when you got shot in the shoulder, blood instantly sprayed out of your mouth. <laughs> I do not read the Spanish very well, but I do like this gun. Oh, what's the chat up to? Wishing they were playing Diablo 3? Yeah, looked like they were taking them <laughs> out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. I feel like I'd have more viewers right now if uh, Diablo 3 didn't come out today. Rodrigo but it did. Too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Well, why do I have the good gun? Did, did it explain that? Uh, switch guns, dude. Oh, there we go. This one. Oh, God. Wow, it just saved my ass right there. This is crazy. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Open the garage. Search for clues, oh my god. The great thing it's like LA Noir. As well as rich as the bad guys know who to kidnap. Dragging Bronco along would slow them down, but not much. That was quick. I should have played it on easy. That guy's not dead? Holy shit. Littering hand. Yeah. Get some. Vans are rocking. Don't come a knocking. Rule number one, Max. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. I don't think that's Spanish. Must be Portuguese. 
continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Why is it giving us subtitles in <laughs> the wrong language? Usually games translate them for you. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufid, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. Get fucking wasted. By yourself and take pills. Good old R and R. Roofies and Ritalin and rum. R and R and R. <laughs> and regurgitation. The fourth R. Don't forget. And with that, I guess I was ready for bed. <coughs> and rubbing one out, the fifth R. 